Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I want to go ahead and show you guys how to keep tracks of downloaded files using Django. So if you want to see more videos like this, do make sure to drop a like on this video and consider subscribing. Also share this video to someone that you think might find it useful, okay? So um, I actually want to make this video because I actually um, encountered an error trying to um, keep track of downloaded files. So um, when a user uploads a file, maybe from the back end or from the front end, and we are giving other users opportunity to download the app, maybe for example maybe you want the users to download something like pdfs or templates um yeah we want to do that but we want to actually keep track of how many downloads the particular file is getting so in order to fix this um i tried a lot of solutions online and i couldn't find anyone so um this was the solution i finally came out with so as you can see i've got two books over here let's start off with this one over here len 3d sculpting yeah whatever i just named it whatever and as you can see we've just got everything um coming in from the from the database that I've got over here let me come over to my database so we've got everything coming over here from the database okay but before I do anything I want to go ahead and change my profile picture I don't really like my profile picture so I'm gonna change this to something that looks like me I'm not sure the profile the current profile picture looks anything like me no so I'm just gonna pick this up and I'm gonna hit save changes so Okay, as you can see, I've saved changes. Now, when I come over here and refresh, I think that should refresh, okay? So now, as you can see, we've got downloads five. And this is so dynamic in a, to an extent that when we hit the download button, you will see it downloads the file over here. And it takes us to another page that says book downloaded successfully, okay? And it says, it calls the name of the book, Learn 3D, Learn 3D Sculpt. Wait, what did I call this? Oh, sculpting. No, it's supposed to be sculpting, something like that. So, Learn 3D Sculpting was downloaded successfully. Enjoy. Now, we can also get back to the bookshelf, which is this one over here. Now, when we come over to this book, what do you notice? Now, it has six downloads, okay? So, as you can see, the download is working dynamically. You can hit the download button again. It downloads the book, and it says book downloaded. When we get back there and refresh the page, let me refresh this again. You would see that now we have seven downloads. So, how about we get um, back to the other book, this one over here, Beauty Tips for Women. I just call it anything and you can see that we've got four downloads over here how about we hit this download button and it downloads the book yeah but it's not actually a book I just uploaded any file to there uh, yeah you can actually go ahead and upload a real book so when we get back here you know it was four but now what do you notice it's now five downloads okay so i think that's what we'll be building in this video hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it so if you want to see more features like the rating giving off stars and liking saving book to post and a lot of things like um creating reviews and rating and all this kind of stuff then just drop a comment in the comment section below what you'd want to see or if you want to see how to automatically get the file size of a file just drop a comment in the comment section below and i'm going to be very very happy to do whatever you guys want me to do okay so let's go ahead and start building this download functionality out okay guys so um we're going to be starting from the models.py so in my models i have already defined all these fields over here that's helping me um make this book page dynamic by doing whatever i want to do so you can see we've got image title description and a whole lot of things but there is one field that you would want to add you would want to add this um add count field over here this field just down just add download underscore count should be equal to models the integer field and why are we making it an integer field that's because we want to store numbers so we don't want to store text we don't know what we don't want to store decimals or whatever we just want to store numbers so that's why we're making it integer field you can make this a um positive integer field or whatever but i like sticking with integer field then add a default zero so when a file is uploaded the initial download should be zero no one has downloaded it already so that's why we're going to be adding an initial download of zero if you change this to 12 or something so the initial download is now going to be changed to 12 and blank is equal to true is simply gonna um, accept um, blank files so let's say um, for example, download counts does not have anything there. It's not going to throw an error. It's not going to say, hey, this field is required. No, it's not going to say that because we've got blank equal to true. Okay. So hopefully you guys understand what's going on. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and write out our view for this. And this is actually the, the logic that I thought about for doing something like this. I'm going to create a new space. So I thought about adding 
adding um, a field that's going to hold counts for a particular book. And over here, I thought about writing a function that's going to be called download success. And I'm going to pass in request. And something else that I'd want to pass in is the book slug so that we can get each particular book and increment the account. Okay. So we don't want to get all the books. We want to get particular books and increment the account. Okay. So take note, you can call this whatever you want. Yada, 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 yada. Then you can call it whatever you want and then use this to query your slug. Okay. But to be more size and stick with convention i'm going to call this book on underscore slug okay now i'm going to say book over here should be equal to book dot object dot get so i want to get one particular book maybe it's beauty tips or maybe it's um learn 3d sculpting or whatever so i want to get one particular book and i'm going to be doing that by using a slug okay now you could use integers you can use a uh, primary keys you could use um ids you can use a whole lot of things to do this but i prefer slug because it gives you this really nice url it's going to give you um the the name of the of the url or whatever then it's going to call the name of the book over here instead of giving you something like one two three four blah 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 okay hopefully you guys understand what's going on then that's why i'll be using slug so after this the next thing i'd want to do is quite easy um i'd simply want to grab the the field that we've got over here so as you can see we've got this download count field so what i'm gonna do is grab it sorry um i actually went to another tab so i'm gonna say book that we defined over here dot dot the download underscore counts that we have in our database should be equal to okay just follow along what i'm doing should be equal to book dot this um plus one okay so whenever we um call this view over here we want to go ahead and add one to this zero that we've got over here and it's now make it one download whenever someone else calls that view it's going to add another number to it making it two downloads and all that okay so hopefully you guys understand but if you don't still understand what's going on just just hold on a sec we're going to get to the fun parts when we actually um you know try it out live then after this the next thing we simply want to do is just go ahead and save this book so we're going to say book.save and i want to close out this whole line that i've got over here i'm going to close all this off now um i i also think we're gonna need a template so we we need to say context should be equal to and i want to pass in book and i'm passing in this book so that i could be able to call um the name of the book and say something like was downloaded successfully okay hopefully you guys understand and after this i'm gonna pass in uh, a template so i'm i'm gonna say return render not redirect but return render and i'm gonna pass in request in there and also over here i'm gonna pass in books slash download download dash success okay then don't do not forget to pass in the context over here so that we could access the context dictionary from the template if you're not passing this in here trust me you're gonna have a, a high time actually debugging this error and finding out that this is what you're supposed to pass in over here okay so after this um the next thing we want to do is nothing we want to go ahead and now create a url i think we are done with the views hopefully there is no error let me look at the server and see that there is no error Okay, everything is working fine. Now I'm gonna hop over to the URLs.py and we're gonna create a new URL for this. So we could do this down here. We could say parts and we, we can call this um, slug. Slug should be pipe. Um, sorry, I, that's not a pipe, that's a colon book slug. So why did I name this book slug? That's because over here I named it book slug, okay? So let's say this was blah, 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 blah. Then take notes, here is gonna be the same thing that's in there and in the URL, it's gonna be the same thing that's in here. So I just want you guys to understand everything that's going on, okay? But we're gonna be making things look more neat. That's why I won't be using random words or text or numbers, okay? Then after this, I'm simply gonna pass in download dash success so take notes download dash success this means nothing you can pass in whatever you want whatever you want this is just like a url name that we're passing in okay then after this um let's just pass in the slash by the at the end of the the url if you want you could do that if you don't want you could leave it it's not compulsory then we could say views dot then we need to grab this this function name over here and put it down here and if you are not importing views like this do make sure to import it or else you're gonna have an error then finally we're gonna give this a name not a namespace but a name and we're gonna call it download success 
okay so hopefully you guys understand what's going on i think yeah that should be pretty much it now we have to go ahead and create a template so we call the name of the template download dash success okay we missed the html then after download dash success the html what we want to do is come over to um the books over here i'm gonna simply go ahead and create um let me just close out all this so we see what i'm doing over here i'm gonna close out all this Okay, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna come over here and create a new download dash success the HTML. But what do you guys? I have it already here. So there is no need to do that any longer. But if I'm sure you're not gonna have it, so go ahead and create your own download dash success the HTML. Then after that, I just added the H3 tag and said book download success downloaded successfully. This is just like a page that I built out. You don't need to stress doing this. You could do whatever you want. Then after that, I called the, the name of the book over here, book.title. And you know, we can actually um, get more creative and make this even let's just say we can make this a little bit bold so that um, it will actually be identified that that's the name of the book was downloaded successfully enjoy then we we say bookshelf so a user can go back to the bookshelf then we'll pass in the URL of the books over here as simple as that I think that should be it now let's go over to our website and refresh and make sure that everything is working perfectly fine I think we've got an error over here what is the error um, let's see let's see let's see we've got um, okay let's i think it should be like a comma or something let me come over here i said it it's a comma so we're gonna pass in commas in there and let's make sure our server is running perfectly well and i think it should be running yeah it is now let's refresh this page once more so you see we've got five downloads over here now i'm gonna manually come into the url and i'm gonna pass in download dash success what do you notice it says book down downloaded successfully and now as you can see what do you notice it's highlighting it so yeah we got creative a bit there now i will come over here now and refresh what do you notice six downloads hooray congratulations we've written the function that's going to help you keep tracks of downloading books i don't know if there is any other better way to do this and i would really 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 want to find out if you are really good with django and you know a better way of doing this please do make sure to drop it in the comment section and i'll be very very more than happy to actually learn um, another way of doing this okay okay guys as you can see it's working from the url but right now we want to go ahead and click on the button and make it work okay so that's what we want to achieve now how do we do that so so in our template um, I'm simply gonna locate um, let's just let's just do it down here I'm gonna create a button so you might be like hey why are you creating a button instead of a link but I want to do this in a way that we would be able to download the the book and we will be able to also redirect to a new page so that's kind of complicated if you're a beginner okay but just stick around with what I'm doing I think if you follow along with what I'm doing perfectly well you shouldn't have any problems achieving this same result. so I'm gonna pass in the class this is simple bootstrap classes I'm gonna say btm dash okay that's not what I want to do so I'm gonna say btm dash success dash soft to actually make the button look super cool okay then after this you could go ahead and pass in an icon if you want you know get creative and do some really cool things then after this in this button over here I want to pass in a JavaScript very very simple function and it's gonna be called on click function okay so okay let me just come over here and say on click and in this on click what we want to pass in is location.href so what location.href is going to work as so location.href is simply going to work um you know like a url for us to actually send um the you know the button that we're going to click into some other page instead of using like an a tag so hopefully you understand what i'm saying so if you don't want to use an a tag like this and you don't want to pass in something like a url in here you want to do it using a button this is the best way to do it so you're going to use a button tag then in the button you're going to pass in on click location.href it's javascript function then we're going to pass in the name of the url that we want to put in here okay so i'm going to open up this so you know it's normal django url tag and i'm going to say download no i need to firstly call the app name which is books then I'm gonna say download dash success. Okay, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm getting that right. So download dash success. And now when we come over here and refresh this page, I think we should, we're supposed to get an error here. So now it's missing book underscore slug. So we wanna come over here and pass in book dot slug. Take note, it's not book underscore, underscore slug, but what? Book dot slug. Now this should be working perfectly well. Now I will click on the download button. What do you notice? It went ahead and sent us to a new page and it would increment the, the book count. Let's see. So as you can see, it's incremented it. But what do you notice? It didn't actually download the book. 
so we need to go ahead and fix that okay so in order to fix downloading the book um yeah it's quite tricky but definitely we're gonna achieve it so in this place now what we want to do is i'm just gonna cut this i'm gonna open up it an a tag this time around i'm gonna pass in um book dot book underscore file dot url so the book file actually is stored in this book underscore file text or whatever you want to call it over here let's hop over let's hop over to my database and show you so as you can see i've got book book underscore file that stores the you know the book that i'm uploading okay so it's called book underscore file that's why we say book dot book underscore file dot url then in order to make this a downloadable file i'm just going to come over here and i'm passing download and finally i'm going to say download and yeah i think that should be it now when i come over here and refresh this is working perfectly well how about i hit this download button now what do you notice it downloads the book it sends me to a new page hooray and now everything is working perfectly well and it increments the count so yeah that's it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and understood a lot of things in it and if you want to see more videos like this do make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing also you could share this video to a friend that might find it useful and if you want me to build out another feature for you that you want to add to your next project just drop it in the comment section and i'll be more than glad to do that so i hope i'll see you guys in the next video my love peace out